guys, Cali Cowboy here, coming at you with a game recap, Cowboys versus Giants, Cowboys win 37-34, to and this was the most empty win I've had in a while, uh, Dak Prescott gets injured at, like everyone knows, bad uh, ankle fracture, dislocation, out for the year, and it was just, after that injury, felt depressed, like, it's like, damn, that's our starting quarterback. That's uh, that's everything for this team, pretty much. And not only just him getting injured, but him not getting paid, um, you know, not getting a new contract in, in the offseason, getting franchise tag, um, not securing that long-term deal kind of, you know, sucks for him. But uh, I think that he'll still be on this, this team uh, coming next year. I think he'll be ready. The prognosis was like about four to four to six months recovery timeline. So I think he'll be back. There's been people that have come back from worse. Alex Smith from his broken leg. So uh, obviously that's the big headline from this game. And we came back and won it anyways off of the game winning kick from Greg Zerline. Zerline is becoming pretty uh, consistent in game winners for us. He hasn't missed one. So knock on wood. Uh, uh, that's pretty nice, but um, yeah, this win, man, it was just, it just felt pr empty, like, fuck, you know, you just feel feel bad for Prescott, but uh, anyways, uh, I'm just going to get into a little bit of things that I thought went wrong, went right in this game, first of all, red zone issues, just minor things, like on that very, very first drive, uh, we could have got a touchdown if it wasn't for the penalty, um, I believe it was uh, illegal shift, and just little things overall like this year we uh have like that like 12 men on the field i think uh later on in this game we had just little things like that like discipline things uh coaching details you know and that continues to be a theme on our team and we need to get that corrected if we want to you know compete against the elite teams uh poe donatary poe i don't know what's going on with him i thought he would be a big addition to the d-line but He's getting pushed back, even though he's like 300 pounds plus. Um, he's playing slow. He, he doesn't have really any acceleration, any push on the line. Like, unless they're running directly to him, he he's not going to get the tackle. <laughs> if it's like outside, he doesn't have any pursuit ability. Like, I'm really surprised that Poe isn't playing better than he is, he, uh, especially with um, Gerald McCoy out that it, that's why we're getting run on so much so that sucks and we definitely definitely need to address that now and in the future so um, but overall the defense did play better this is the Giants but the Giants were running all over us but they did play better overall Jalen Smith had a hell of a game and you need that you need one of your best players on defense to play good <laughs> so um other than that, we were missing sacks just by a little bit. Like we were like a, like a hand's length away from from sacking the quarterback a couple more times, um, and that was due to D line breaking contain. And you know when uh, the quarterback is in the pocket, you want to contain him and keep him in the pocket. But our D ends weren't weren't keeping him in the pocket. They were like going up straight too much, and then that allowed Daniel Jones to go out the pocket and. Uh, Break contain. So, it's just little things like that, like minor details. Um, I know this. I played defensive end in high school, so that's how I know. Um, anyways, uh, defense played better, but still allowing too many yards. You know, too many, too many points. Um, 30, 34 points is too much, um, but it's better than what was it? 40, 40 plus that we gave up last week. Um, offensively, I would like to see us run draw plays more. I feel like. The draw play is great because we're mainly a passing team, and that'll catch teams off guard, especially with Tony Pollard. That we had like a nice draw play with uh, Tony Pollard. I really liked it, and I'm o I've always been a fan of the draw play, ba even back to Julius Jones days. Um, really great play to run. Um, besides uh, play action, uh, let's see the defense. Back to defense, we should have known Jason Garrett's plays a little bit better. Um, I felt like. There were, I recognized some plays that, you know, that little screen, the fake reverse, and then dump it off to the running back. Like, that worked on us. We should be knowing that play. 
Um, Dak should have been on the defensive e defense's ear, letting him know like what plays they're gonna run and whatnot. So that was something I felt like we should have been a little more prepared for. So I don't know what that was. Uh, that TD was a big boost for the defense. That uh, scoop and score, Anthony Brown, great having great having Anthony Brown back, and D Law finally played good this week. And I think it was a combination of um, subpar offensive line. The Giants offensive offensive line isn't the greatest, and uh, uh, D Law getting pissed <laughs> and people talking shit. So I think that's a good combination for him. Uh, definitely boosted our defense's confidence with that score, and they just needed some momentum. And uh, Lamb, Gallup, uh, even Cooper for like a couple plays w was uh, really, really clutch for us. There are weapons. Um, with Andy Dalton coming in, I think that he's going to have to rely on his weapons, not try to s do too much, be that game manager, bus driver. And he's proved before he can – he led Bengals teams to the playoffs. So I don't think we're going to miss a beat. People talking about tanking, like losing out. This team isn't going to do that. They're going to compete every single game. We're in first place, two and three. So I definitely think Andy Dalton is is a solid quarterback. That's why we, we got him in the offseason, paid him a little bit more money. And uh, he, he's going to he's gonna do it for us. I think he's going to rely on Zeke. He's going to rely on all of our weapons. And, and he'll uh, – He'll sustain. He'll he'll manage, um, and he'll be enough for this offense to be successful. The question's still on the defense. We don't know what you know what the defense is going to be week in and week out. So uh, I think our offense is going to be slightly less potent, but we're still going to be up there with uh, the league league leaders in stats. Um, but other than that, man, it's uh, like I said, it felt like an empty win, um, heartbreaking to see Dak go down and a bunch of like there was some people on Twitter I saw talking shit about Dak's injury and those are some pieces of shit human beings uh most namely EDP that piece of shit <laughs> he he said that he hopes Dak uh hopes it's career ending and that's horrible like fuck that guy uh but anyways uh, I'm gonna get out of here y'all let me know what y'all think about this game uh if you think what do you think about Dak's future going forward? I think going forward, he's going to be back next year. He's going to be just fine. He's going to recover, and I think he's going to be the quarterback of this team. But other people, you know, I don't know, saying different kind of things. Let me know what you think. Um, but uh, interesting game, interesting outcome. Uh, let's see where it leads on for the rest of the season. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.